Hi Aries, welcome to your mid-month readings. As always, keep in mind that this is only a general reading. Always take what it feels right and with what does resonate within your own life experiences at this time. And if you would like a personal reading with me, please contact me through the email I put in the description box below. So Aries, I feel like during this mid-month, there's a great chance for some of you to feel this powerful change um rising it's like a phoenix energy where you may recover a certain um energy of confidence trust and willpower to grant you towards this uh future vision that you are um picturing that you want to get to i feel that some of you want to be uh more independent and you want to have things happening in your life at your own pace and I feel that some Aries here are learning about their own specific, peculiar, you know, uh, internal rhythm. It's like you have your own uh, specific tune to do things. And I feel that you are learning about that so you can be much more respectful of yourself, of your time, of your energies. So you can be much more, uh, give more uh, care to your own being by learning the right amount you know and when to give and when to take it's like there's a great energy here of flow exchange give and take i feel that some of you could actually be um assisting and receiving assistance at the same time teaching and learning at the same time which is your beautiful advice for this mid month is the six of pentacles make sure that again you're putting enough effort here into proper balance and harmony between the amount of energy you spend or resources and make sure that you're trying to even that with the same amount of how you receive usually we we either have a problem giving or receiving and it's important to identify where is your imbalance so you can help this big change and this big big um transformation to come forward and help you move forward as well to a path of enlightenment i feel that this death energy as your main opportunity is bringing you here the vision of a new life i feel that you have been into this ongoing energies of uh, experiences that possibly left you vulnerable or left you um, you know fearful of the future uh, there has been loads of changes happening here for some of you and all of that is coming together it's like the the energy of the caterpillar turning into the butterfly but in your case, I, I feel that it's even stronger. There's here is this, this rise of the phoenix energy where um, you are also learning a lot about time, again, and cycles of time. So understanding the, the natural cycle of life, death, rebirth, and this ongoing process by observing it all around, not only in our human condition, but... Um, in nature you know and in our own emotional process that's you know it's like biologically there's a lot of things you can learn that would help you by observation you know by understanding by studying understand as well when certain circumstances happen that require this energy of let go and acceptance of the death energy it's like you can carry on understanding that nothing really dies is just shifting into another form so there's a, a lot of a lot of things you know changing for aries during this period of time i, I also feel that some of you are going <laughs> a little bit um some of you are going crazy about something during this mid month i'm not sure what it is i feel that some of you want to uh, either blow up or express a powerful um, conviction you have out there either to someone or to some circumstance where you are about to you know blow up and you need to it's like you need to affirm your own being you know your own authority over a certain circumstance 
I feel that there's, you know, there's a the good kind of crazy and there's again the crazy that sets you off of your balance. And usually we need to go first to this craziness aspect that sets us off of our balance so we can understand the other way around. Again, this craziness that I'm sensing here is not necessarily a negative thing. I feel that it's about you as well learning about other layers of your being that are much more uh, unique, unique traits of yours, different aspects, eccentric elements, where you are, it's like you are expressing parts of your being that have been a little bit, um, it's like, undealt with or very unconscious and they are finally coming forward and sometimes you may feel that you don't even have control over the expression that this is bringing forward you know the declarations that you are um, stating to the world and to relationships in your life your challenge is the knight of cups so you're challenged with um, you know again emotional extremes there's a new there's a need to have a better self-control over the way you emotionally express your truth again make sure it's even it's balanced it's fair make sure you're not doing you know anything that may jeopardize you know this intense process that you're going through because it's almost i feel that like it's 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 about to be over. There's an energy here of you as well. This challenge is you need to clear your intentions because you have all tools at your disposal right now or you're about to learn that there are much more tools that you hold than possibly what you, what you were visualizing um, before. So it's important to clear your intentions so you, you, you are aware of what you are uh, wanting and desire desiring to manifest making sure that comes again from a place of integrity a place of truth and a real desire to attract circumstance or or a relationship or an event that really is a part of your uh, desire to evolve to grow and to become the better version of your own being clearing intention is intentions is also showing up here as being very important because as you do so, again, you are helping the manifestation process to be much more about what you truly want. And you are as well becoming more clear about the path um, that's ahead of you. I feel that some of you that have been a little bit in this passive energy, this energy of sleep state, you know, numbness, coma, there's this... Uh, there's this uh, clear notion here that the hibernation phase is over and for those insisting you know in creating this imbalance where maybe you are afraid to go back a little bit to the proactive aspect of life you may be poked or something may um, change something a circumstance may suddenly change that may force you to go out of your cave and to wake up to something I also feel that some of you may be trying, again, balance, maybe trying to do a lot of things at the same time. Clear your intentions, prioritize what is your main goal, what is your main priority right now, and start from one thing um, so you then can arrange or rearrange whichever other um, concerns you have. You have a lot of tools at your disposal, so you have a powerful instrument of some sorts with you that would that would and will help you unlock you know this doorway to your future vision of success um and better life circumstances but i also feel that again you need to be careful about your step do not fall into extremes balance is the key harmony your center it, uh fair exchange within the relationship you're having with yourself and others about give and take. Um, I feel that some of you are much more or you are changing your receptivity to be more present for others, 
to be a little bit, um, you know, more cope. Uh, it's like being more um, willing to partner up with people to give to give of yourself to others than what you would possibly some of you would possibly be willing to give of yourself in the past. So you're learning a lot as well about maintaining, you know, healthy relationships, healthy boundaries um, between you and the others, which is the theme for you as well in the general April reading. And the main thing here as well, it's learn more about your inner rhythm, your inner compass, your time, you know, the time and the, 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 the particular um, ways in which your being works because as you learn more about this I feel that you will be more energized again to be in this uh, constant dance between your needs your space your boundaries and respecting as well the needs and boundaries of others and all of this is, is uh, again, with this death card as, as an opportunity, is be open, be brave. There's an energy of courage here. Be courage because the show, the show must go on. So there's something that possibly some of you are dealing with where there's a lot of acceptance and letting go that it's required. Um, and whichever has happened whichever experiences you're going through, it's important to keep going as you can, you know, keep going, don't uh, stop, because you're being called to do something right now that um, will promote more harmony into your life and the life of others, and will give you a better clue or a better understanding of why possibly those experiences that you're called to let go of needed to happen so i hope you have a great mid month thank you so much for all of you who have been liking sharing commenting and donating to my channel i really really appreciate it thank you so much and hopefully we'll see each other soon